See, what's wrong with the people? You're so programmed by the instrument. But when you're home and you're closed behind closed doors, there's no organ, there's no drum. What do you do when the music stops? Your mouth should remain open. Come on here. Hondi Oshando. Oh, y'all ain't ready to have no church with me tonight. Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're going home tonight delivered. Come on, look at somebody else and say, neighbor, tonight is your night for your breakthrough. You ought to clap your hands like you love God up in here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, musicians. They need your help tonight. Come on, Nadia Sanda. Oh, the daddy old Shande. It's another daddy old Sando. Come on, under the old Tia. Come on, under the old Tia. Come on in, God. Under the old Shah. Have your way, oh God. Move by your power. Under the old Tia. We take authority over the atmosphere. It's under the old Tia. That it come conducive to his spirit. We pull down every stronghold. We pull down under the old Tia. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, tell your neighbor there's another way coming. Tell there's another way to glory coming. You better jump in the wave. Tell your neighbor jump in the wave. He's passing by. On the old condo. Let me pull back a little bit. I greet you with the apostolic greetings. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And you say peace be multiplied. Amen. Hallelujah. We give honor now to the head of this house, Overseer Johnson. Come on, clap your hands for the man of God. Amen. I give honor to my apostle, Apostle Joel Cooper. And safe and secure that came with us tonight. Come on. We give honor to every pastor, every prophet, every evangelist, every teacher, wherever you are. We give honor to you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all praising God like you really need something for him tonight. How many people really need something for the Lord before you leave here tonight? Come on, somebody. I ain't talking about tomorrow morning, but I'm talking about tonight. I need God to work a miracle. Come on, the old shine. Tell your neighbor this is the last time you will see me like this. Ah, look at somebody else and say, neighbor, this is the last time you will see me like this. Because the next time you see me, the next time you see me, the next time I come around you, you're going to see something different. But tell your neighbor, there is a word. There is a word from the Lord. I'm telling y'all. God has been really good to you. You can't afford now to sit down on this type of fire. Hallelujah. But I come to tell you tonight what Jesus said. I can't tell you what other people are gossiping about, but I'm going to tell you what Jesus said tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, whether you know it or not, people of God, it seems like we have been in a war. I don't know if I don't know if none of y'all have been through warfare. But it seems like the warfare has been great. Come on here, somebody. It's been very tense. And I said, Lord, I want to preach a word that no one had preached. I want, Lord, I want to hear your heart. What is your heart saying to the people? 
Because one thing about it, we have people, we'll, they'll go find somebody else's sermons and preach it. But the Bible says, study to show yourself approved. And if you study your word, you won't have to steal nobody else's word. Tell your neighbor, get your own word. Get your own. Get your own word. It's time for the people of God to come together in unity. I said it's time for the kingdom of God the kingdom people to come together in unity. Unity means togetherness. When we can get on one accord something can take place instead of worrying about what this person going to do or what that person going to say just get on one accord. Get on one accord. Say, get on one accord. Get on one accord. If you have your word, turn with me to Ephesians tonight. I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, give me a word. Decrease me, and you increase God. Anoint my lips to clay that I'll say what you will have me to say. Anoint these eyes so that I can see every hidden agenda, every hidden motive tonight. And that by course, God exposes everything. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on and say, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He want a new year. Say, yeah. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'ma say it again till you get it. Say yeah, say yeah, yeah. Yes to your will and yes to your way. Yes to your will and yes to your way. But something is getting ready to happen before you leave this house tonight. You will not go back home the same way you came in. Hallelujah. But turn with me to Ephesians. Chapter 6. Verse 10 through 18. Hallelujah. I feel like preaching old school tonight. <laughs> See, God want to do something for you, but you got to want it. Come on here, somebody. You got to want it for yourself. I don't come to church for people, but I come because I need something. If you have your word, say word up. If you don't have it, say Bible search. We're going to wait for you just a little while. All right. Hananio Sanda. The word of the Lord says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able somebody shout able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places. Wherefore, take unto you this whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, tell somebody you ought to stand. Stand, stand there for having your loins good about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Yeah, 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 not a Bahasia. Wherewith ye shall be able, some of the shall able. Yeah, not a Dio Sando. To quench all the fiery dogs of the wicked. Verse 17 says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always. God Almighty, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with there unto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. You ought to say for all saints. Good God Almighty. And if I will leave you with a subject tonight, if you can look at somebody on your road that look like they got the Holy Ghost for real and say, neighbor, this fight has to come to an end. And tell your other neighbor, the war is over. No longer will I have to fight. No longer will I have to fight against depression. No longer this fight has to end. Look at somebody else say, this fight has to end. This fight has ended. That will help me preach tonight. No longer will I go back and forth with you. No longer will I entertain your emotions. No longer will I entertain your feelings. So what they don't like you. So what? I'm the old You got to get some tough skin on your bone. And the Bible said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up. This fight has to end. I realize that we've been going through battles, constant battles. You find yourself, glory to God, stepping out of one situation, and then you find yourself end up in another situation. And you say, Lord, I just can't catch a break for nothing. Every time I try to do good, evil is always present. But God, I'm tired of fighting the same demon. I'm tired of fighting with the same people. In this season, I realize I had to cut them off because they won't do me no good. Can I get a witness in here that this fight has ended? Prophesy to somebody and say, neighbor, whatever you've been going through, whatever you've been struggling with, this fight has ended. Come on and say yeah. Say yeah. Oh yeah. Glory to God, can I tell you, I know that this fight has winded, has ended, glory to God. Second Corinthians 10 and 4 says, for the weapons of this warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds. Can I get a witness in here? Romans 8 and 18 says, for I reckon 
that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Can I call on Romans again? Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, to God, yeah. Romans 8 and 31 says, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who, who, who can be against us? Good God, yeah. Job 13 and 15 says, though he slay me, yet will I, yet, yet will I, yet will I trust him. One more scripture for you. Psalms 27, verse 2 says, when the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled, they stumbled, and fell. They stumble in fail. That means the Bible said, the Lord will. I said, the Lord will. The Lord will. He will fight for you. Then he said, he's a God that cannot lie. Good God Almighty. If he said it, you can believe it. I come to tell you what Jesus said. Good God, yes. I've been wrestling with different things. But I realize at the end, there's a blessing that awaits for you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready. Get ready. They see me fall. But they didn't see me get up. Tell somebody they saw you fall. But they didn't see you get up. They lied on you. Talked about you. Didn't lie your name. Told you that you want nothing. That you won't work nothing. But I came to tell you that Jesus said, Good God Almighty, that I'm coming. I'm coming for you tonight. If you need a breakthrough, I got it in my hands tonight. If you need a healing. I got it tonight. Come on and say yeah. Don't you understand that we can show up to battles and don't have to say a mumbling word. Your presence will speak for. But what's wrong with the people? So ready to fight. They so ready to fight. Somebody look at them wrong. They ready to slap somebody. Come over here, somebody. Somebody say the wrong thing to you. You about ready? You come up. But the Bible said, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood." But see, some of us have always been fighters before we got saved. Uh, before you got saved, yeah, you was a fighter. But when you change partners, there should be a change. Yeah, some don't even fight no more. They start shooting people. And it's sad that every time you turn on the TV, one of us black people are getting killed. Come on, somebody. Gang related. Come on here. Hold up the old son of the Baha'i. Something that somebody done lied about. Tell you, a liar will have you killed. But I come to tell you that you don't have to fight with your hands. I know the best position when the enemy knocks you down on your knees. This is how you're supposed to pray to the Father tonight. He said, I will find them. Short in heaven. Hallelujah will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Lord, that your will 
heaven. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not, lead us not unto temptation, but deliver us from all evil and the power and the glory. you a lesson. Some of you don't know how to pray. But to help the beginners, when I didn't know how to pray, my grandmother, she opened the Bible and told me to read the Lord's Prayer. Huh? Some of us don't know how to fight. You got to fight with prayer. Can I show you another demonstration? When we used to get around the altar on Friday nights and the mothers would sing old hymns. Oh, hey, glory to God. And they begin to sing. When my mother old shy, and they say, son, get ready to call on Jesus. And you say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, oh Jesus, we need you Lord, we need you Lord, it's me oh Lord, not my mother, not my father, not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, Then in the need of prayer. Then after a while you begin to Sometimes you can't talk it out. Sometimes you got to broke. Yeah, 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 yeah. See that when you start doing that, the enemy don't even know what to say. I got to go But we got to get back to the place of prayer. Get back on your face. Some of you wouldn't have to worry about so many things if you do what God tells you to do. But I've come to tell you, God is getting ready to do something marvelous. Each and every one of you tonight. Because no longer would I go back home fighting the same demon that I fought with last year. Huh? Let me tell you something. Some of you keep going in circles. And you think you're going forward. But you just get dizzier and dizzier. God trying to pull you from that place of being stuck. Come on, church, I need your prayer. Some of you don't understand when God take you up somewhere. Trying to take you up. He's trying to take you up. If I don't come do nothing else, he wants to take you higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need your prayer. Come on, come on. Clap your hands. Where the intercessors? Where the prayer warriors at? Something's about to take place. You have to open your mouth. Open your mouth. Clap your hands. Come on, my dear, shut the behind. Yeah, I'm gonna work tonight. Come on, my dear, I see it. 
You're coming out of this thing. He's going to pull you all the way out. I'm going to walk the floor. Lift your hands. He's coming to those that want him tonight. Come on and lift your hands. Open up your mouth. Come on, Adiosha. Come on, Adiosha. Come on, Adiosha. Come on, Adiosha. Come on, God. Send your fire. Send your power. Blow on us, God. Blow on us, God. Blow on us, God. Put on Adiosha. He's not going to be your shame. I'm not going to be your shame. I'm not going to be your shame. Come on, come on, I need the right sound. Come on, come on. I feel the prophetic of the ocean. Come on, the sea of the higher. Come on, sir, you're doing good. Come on, take me there, take me there, take me. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm coming to the ocean. Come on, the sea. When you were praising God, I never heard shot. I saw the Lord turn some things around. He not done that because You need God to do something. I not done that because Before next week, I not done that because God told me to tell you, your praise just brought you in two. Your praise just brought you in two. And the Lord told me to tell you, there's some people you got to let go of. God want to do something in here.
I'm stretching you in this season. Hey, God said, I got you in the slingshot. You've been trying to find your way. But God said, when you let me, when you let me launch you, no, everything that you need will come in line. There's some people that been in your corner prostituting your anointing and your gifts. I hear the Lord that be kushata by the Levitoya. God said in this next season is gonna require you to go on consecration. You have to shut off some social media. You gotta shut down your phone. Because there's something that the Lord wants to show you. Oh, He want to give you another way. He did the old Sando. He did the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Fall fresh upon you now. I need the church praying. The fire of God fall on you now. The fire of God, the fire, 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 fire. Come on, somebody shout fire, fire. Come on, fire, burn, 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 burn. Adabasa, fire. Ida dabo ho shada. Ekana dali dili ya sekana dabo ho. Hey, he doing it right now. Hey, ida dabo dili ya sekana dabo higher. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. God is bringing stability. He's bringing stability. God wants you stable so that he can do what he needs to do. Sometimes we move so much. You have to be careful what churches you go to. You can't go to everybody's church. If you want to protect the oil that's on your life, you better listen to God. Let God lead and guide you where to go. I even see God get ready to change the way you see things. Come on and say yes, Lord. Come on and say yes. Hey, 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 hey. Come on and say yes, Lord. He's done it now. And I promise you, the miracle that you've really been waiting for, it'll happen when you do what God says. And that's the word of the Lord. Come on, the Come on, the the father saying get ready I'm taking you into another place that you've never been before you're about to enter into a new realm in the spirit in the back of the anointing is on you but I'm seeing people plotting things planning things against you in this season God said tread lightly be careful where your feet goes because the enemy trying to set you up for failure 
you can give your heart to everybody. But the Lord says, I want to heal the heart. 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 See, sometimes people see that you're smiling and you're shouting. They think everything is okay. But God said, I see your heart. I see your heart. Hey, I see your heart. I see your heart. Hey, you want to heal the heart. Hey, Yamasha. Hey, hey, Yamasha. He want to heal the heart. You gotta let him do it. Come on, he want to heal the heart. For everyone that said they love you, it leaves you dirty. For everyone that said they love you, it leaves you dirty. For everyone that I my kosia, they try to use you. He not my kosia, my higher. He want to heal the heart. He want to heal the heart. Yeah. He want to heal the heart. 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 Let him heal your heart. Let him heal your heart. Hey. Let him heal your heart. Yeah, no, Let him heal your heart. Let God is moving. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Now that my door holds standing. You're not my dear, oh, son, I hear. Oh, my dear, no, 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 But God said, let him in tonight. He want to do something new in you. He said, I've seen you crying. I've seen 
that in your show and everybody else fail you. And you always question yourself a lot. Why does this have to happen to me out of all people? But the Lord said, I have chosen you. The Bible said, many are called, but a few are chosen. I even hear God say, I'm going to do something within your family. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. And every generational curse has to break. The Lord said, woman of God, if you stick with him, uh, he'll do what you're asking him to do. Even the Oshanda Bahaya in your finances is about to change. I hear increase. Somebody ought to shout increase. Increase is coming to your house. Increase is coming to your house. God said, get ready. I'm adding things unto you. For everyone that you have helped and they betrayed you, they weren't loyal. You've been scarred from the very one that said they would never hurt you. There's a healing anointing in here tonight. He wants to heal you too. You have to forgive those that done you wrong. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Tonight, God said, I want you to release everything that's been weighing on your shoulders. Every dead weight be lifted. Every burden be lifted. I need the saints praying. God said, tonight is your night for breakthrough. 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 I want you to open up your mouth. And I want you to give God the biggest shout that you can give him. Come on, come on. Hey, right here, it's breaking. It's breaking. Now, no longer will you be stressed. No longer will you be frustrated. No longer God is bringing you from that place. Hey, he's hitting you now.
that you can reap the benefits the Lord said this is your season for benefits sometimes people have spent to go into prayer and cover. You have to cover him. You have to cover him. As he cover you. like having benefits with the Lord. He's getting ready to do it for both of you. That's the word of the Lord for you. Somebody shout benefits. Now I dare you look at somebody right now and say, neighbor, I don't know what you need, but I just dare you to open up your mouth and watch what God do within 24 hours. I can't get nobody to say nothing to God. I got no hush and no higher. There's about to be a 24-hour miracle. I feel the old shot of the higher. 
There's a 20, I got no more hooks up. A 24 hour turnaround. Come on, come on, you have to stand up and turn around. And say it's turn around for me. By the time I get back home, my miracle will be waiting. My blessing will be waiting. The thing that I need to hear will be waiting. Who, I got no more hooks up. Who am I talking to in here? They say all I need is another touch from God. All I need is a miracle. All I need. All I need. I prophesy, I feel it here. I feel it. I prophesy that you are the lender and not the brother. I prophesy that you are the head and not the tail. I prophesy he cannot have a good time that your big days are over. I prophesy that increase is coming. I prophesy he's been released. I prophesy child opportunity. You get ready to receive the gold that you are hired. I prophesy. I feel like prophesying tonight. I feel like you're double kusha, double baba higher. Hana the old seer. I prophesy tonight that your hands will stay full. Who did he Shaba? I prophesy. You better hold your hands out and say, Lord, fill these hands up. Fill it up till I can't hold it no more. I want it to overflow. I want you to kusha, double higher. God said, get ready. There's an outpour. There's an outpour coming. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Come on here. There's an outpour. What is the outpour? New money. What is the outpour? New home. What is the outpour? Yada Kosa. New territory. Come on, somebody. New platform. New connections. I prophesy. I prophesy there be any sickness of much you. He did about that you are healed. I prophesy that when you go to the doctor, and when you go to the doctor, the doctor will say it's not there anymore. I don't know what happened, but the Holy Ghost just took over. And he just did something in your body. I even see tumors drying up. I got the old sire. I see blood being regulated. I got the old sire. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on and open up your mouth. Sugar diabetes are drying up now. High blood pressure are drying up now. Come on in the old sire. Come on in the old thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, every curse be broken. How you about sire? Every curse that been spoken over your life. How you know about God shall we not come now be? But the Lord said, I done sent the blood. Hey, I done sent the blood. Are you the other number? Because she had the higher. Yes. I prophesy that when you leave this place, that you won't get in an accident. I prophesy, I prophesy that you shall live and not die but declare the works of the Lord. I prophesy new wardrobe. I prophesy. Come on here, somebody. He's healing your stomach. Hey, he's healing the inside. My daddy, the Ashando. He come out of the ass. They got to line up with the word. They got to line up with the word. I don't have to touch you. All the thing I got to do is speak the word. You are healed. Be made whole. Some of you just go back home and say, be made whole. Speak it in your atmosphere, everything in this house. Be made whole. My bank account, be made whole. Come on, somebody. My job, be made whole. You got to talk to it. My vehicle, be made whole. Come on, somebody. Open up your mouth and speak the word of the Lord. Brother Sam, you have the power to speak to the mountain. And the mountain has to move. Come on, come on, y'all too quiet. Y'all too quiet, but you wanna... This is what God wanna do for you. But the only way you're gonna get it is according to your praise. 
Tell your neighbor this one is on my praise. This next miracle is on my praise. This next door is on my praise. This next healing is on my praise. I don't know if you don't get tonight, but I'm gonna believe God. I'm gonna step out on faith and believe God. Do I have anybody in here that don't mind giving God praise for opening up the heaven? out strategies I'm giving out strategies for your next assignment I'm giving you instructions for your next assignment I want to hear this I know y'all ready to dance we're going to dance in a few minutes but let me tell you he said, I'm giving you strategies for the new assignment. Now, he didn't give you strategies to sleep with your assignment. He's not giving you strategies to sleep with your assignment. But the Lord's saying to tell the people, these strategies that I'm giving to give out is going to pull people out of the place that they don't want to come up out of. Come on, somebody. I come to tell you, some people have been stuck and stagnated for so long that they became comfortable where they are. They are so content. But the Lord, I'm giving you new strategies. I'm giving you new ideas. I'm giving you new visions. I'm giving you new dreams. That's what the Lord is saying. He said, write the vision and make it plain. Some of you don't like writing. How in the world can you speak a vision? You don't want to write your own vision. If you can't spell, as long as you know what it say. But I hear God said, rewrite the vision. Prophesy to somebody, I'll prophesy to you. That you go home tonight and rewrite the vision. And watch what God do when you write the vision out. Write the vision and make it plain. Write the vision. Write the vision. Tell somebody to write, 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 write. You have to go home and write. Write the vision out. Lay it out. Draw out the blueprint. Come on, somebody. Tell the show the Lord how you want it done. Come on here. He said, I'm giving you strategy. Now, what you put on paper. Don't you go out showing nobody because everybody ain't happy for you. Everybody, come on, 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 come how will you know what to do next if you don't write the vision? God said, I'm giving you strategies. The reason why he's giving you strategies, because you failed the last vision. The vision that God told you to write out, you didn't write it out. That's why everything crumbled. But if you sit behind your desk at home, for those that have it, and listen to the voice of God, and allow God to lead you and guide your hand as you write. And you write what you hear. Also, you got to draw the blueprint. Without the blueprint, how can you tell the constructor how to build your house? 
if you ain't got no blueprint. You got to be specific in this season. I just heard the Lord say, some of you, I hear long, somebody had a loan. And it need to be paid off. But if you praise God, if you Yaba Hushaba, school loans are being paid right now. That's your praise. Come on. something for you God is about to do something for you it's so big that your hand can't hold it you have a plan you have a plan you have a goal in mind God told me to tell you because of your faithfulness and because of your realness See, he can't stand nobody fake and phony. But when you can be real, he'll look out for you. But I hear God say, I'm getting ready to blow your mind this year. This is your year. This is your year. This is your year. For favor. This is your year. I release the money. Hey, I release everything that you need. Come on and praise him. Hey. that you're about to get connected with that's going to help you pursue what you want. Somebody tell him, go pursue it. This is your year.
I heard the Lord say. Let me say what he said. The Lord said, for those of you that have loved ones that's not saved, this is the year that he's going to bring salvation to your loved ones. Some of you have been praying hard for certain individuals. for certain individuals because you know they got great potential but the enemy desired to sift them as weak but God told me to tell you if you praise God for that loved one he'll bring all your help he'll bring all your he'll save us he'll save us Praise is going on. Y'all can keep on praising because we got to raise some more money here. Hallelujah. So everyone that's in here, on the sound of my voice, I don't know your name by name, but I want everybody that can at least let's get $40 Forty dollar seed. Forty dollar in your hand. Come on, they get a forty dollar seed. Get a forty dollar seed in your hand. Everybody at least get a $40 seat in your hand. And when you get your $40 seat in your hand, can you please stand? Because we can praise God all day long, but you got to know how to give too. Giving, amen, glory to God. We got to know how to give and praise. 
It takes money to run a ministry. Now we can dance and tear up the carpet all night long, but you got to pay for this stuff. Come on, somebody. See, they do have a cash app. It's on the screen, and it's online too. And to the ones that's watching, please sow a $40 seed tonight. Because I'm looking for God to do something about tomorrow. About tomorrow. All right, if you got your $40 seed, can you stand, please? $40 seed. Wave your hand if you have it. Hallelujah. Let's get this $40 seat. It's here. We have a goal tonight that we're trying to reach. And I know that we can raise. I know that we can raise it. So please, ma'am, sir, get $40 seat in your hand. Come on in, bring it. You got your seat, come on and bring it up. They have it on Cash App. And please bring your, if you're doing Cash App, please bring it up so they can keep record. Amen? Hallelujah. If you put seed in the ground, you can reap a harvest. You can't expect to get nothing if you don't put nothing in. Cash up, bring your cash up up here so you can keep the record. Hallelujah. Credit card, bank card, you can bring it up too. They do have swipe. 